Well, any high speed chase carries an element of danger. When a domestic dispute boiled over into a police chase Monday, it threatened the safety of people on Redstone Arsenal. But it ended abruptly just like it should have. And it's all because of the way it was handled. WHNT News 19's Brian Lawson tonight takes a closer look at why. Military takes a dim view of people trying to crash its gates. Well, this could have turned into a high speed pursuit out in the community, and we, we can stop that. We're going to. Monday afternoon, Redstone Arsenal police were investigating a domestic call when they saw a female driver take off. She ran a red light, struck a police car, and headed for the gate. Guards then deployed the grab net system. It rises in a few seconds and can stop a 15,000 pound vehicle going 50 miles an hour. A spokesman for FutureNet Security Solutions, which makes grab systems, said a driver has ample warning before they hit the wall. He compared it to running a red light and two train crossings before impact. It worked, it, it worked exactly the way it was, it was supposed to, and we're happy to have that system because we can protect the community with it. It has made a major difference. In 2008, before the barrier was installed, a woman fleeing a drug arrest crashed through Redstone's Gate 1 and her vehicle killed Marshall Flight Center engineer Darren Spurlock. Last year, burglars fleeing police aimed for Redstone's Gate 10. The wall went up and the chase ended. Brian Lawson, WHNT News 19. Monday's incident is still under investigation. Arson